Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. And if you are new and you didn't already know, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK. And this channel is all about perfumes, yes. That lovely smelly water that we all go head over heels for. But yeah, and if you are a returning loyal subscriber, thank you so much for being here again today and sending you lots of love, hugs, warmth and happiness from me to you. So guys, today's video is exciting. So. I have had some requests for this video, so I thought, you know what, let me just do this video, man, because this is long overdue. So this is my entire Mansara collection. So if you've watched me before, you will know that I love me some Mansara. Mansara is one of my favorite houses. You know, I love Lancome as well but I love Mansara too. I like the fact that majority of their fragrances are amazing performers. They're beast mode, they last forever, they have amazing longevity, sillage, they project well, and they have some unique smells that I just, oh, I just fall head over heels in love with. And you know what? I thought today I would rank my Mansera's from worst to best, okay? And when I say worst, I still love them. Like I love all of them, bar one. I love all of the Mansera's in my collection, but obviously I've got favorites. So guys, if you think you know my top three, comment it down below now, or if you can guess my top one, comment down below. I'd be interested to see how well you know me. <laughs> So guys, I have 14 fragrances to go through, but I'm not gonna go really in depth in all of them, otherwise we're gonna be here forever and you probably wanna go and eat your dinner or something. But guys, it might be a bit of a long one, so if you need a drink, if you need you know, a glass of wine to keep you going, whatever, grab it now. <laughs> so in the number 14 spot, so my least, least favorite Mansara, and one that I might actually declutter because I'm not really feeling it, which is quite a surprise because normally I love a Mansara. And that one is this one, and this is called Indian Dream. This does not smell bad, okay? Yeah, this actually smells quite nice. This is like an incensey floral fragrance it's feminine leaning very very feminine the problem i have with this is that it's soft okay it is soft it is weak it doesn't project very well it doesn't last on my skin and it doesn't smell like it should come from mansara if that makes sense to me it smells quite generic it's not a bad smell i don't dislike it i'm just you know, a bit disappointed with the performance of this one. This is also a bit basic, you know, it's a bit of a basic bee fragrance. It's not in keeping with my beloved Mansara. So I think she's got to go, you know? Yeah, so in number 14, Indian Dream. In at number 13, we have this one, and this is called Royal Vanilla. Now this is the scent that was exclusive to Selfridges for quite some time. I don't know if it still is. It comes in a beautiful bottle. Like I love the pearl lid. I think it's stunning. But this kind of disappointed me because I don't know, I was expecting more. Like this is just basic as well. Like there's nothing special or unique about this. This is a nice scent, don't get me wrong. I do not dislike it. I like it and I do wear it, I do use it. But there's nothing unique about it. It's basically vanilla, patchouli with a bit of violet. There's just nothing special about it. It's like something I've smelt before. Yes, it does last pretty well. 
Um, but apart from that, like, there's not much else I can say about this one. I just think that they hyped it up like, oh, it's a Selfridges exclusive. So shouldn't that make it special? Like, if it's an exclusive fragrance, you want it to be something, you know, oh my God, mind blowing, special, knocks everything else out of the park. And for a Mancera, I was expecting so much more. But as I say, it's not a bad scent. It still smells nice, but it's not like a really sweet gourmand vanilla that I was, you know, kind of hoping that it would be. It's just a run of the mill, nothing special, nothing unique. So yeah, that's why it is in my number 13 spot. So in the number 12 spot is this one, and this is Black to Black. Now, this fragrance is off the Richter scale when it comes to beast mode performance, okay? This is so strong. This could possibly be the strongest perfume that I own, like literally. This is on a next level when it comes to performance. If you wanna get noticed, if you want heads to turn, this is gonna be your best friend, trust me. This leans a bit masculine to me, although it does have a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's basically a woody, spicy rose fragrance with leather. It has a Middle Eastern twist to it. It does smell very Middle Eastern-y to me. You know, as I said, it leans masculine, but don't let that put you off. It dries down very beautiful on the skin. As I said, projection, absolute beast. You will get noticed if you wear this fragrance 100%. Now, I'm not a seasonal perfume wearer, but I would stay away from this one in the hot weather. This is nice in the winter. This cuts through the cold. You know, this keeps you cozy and warm in the cold weather. So yeah, even I wouldn't dare to wear this in the sun. I think it would probably choke me out or something. But yeah, you only need one or two sprays of this one. And coming from me, like, who am I? Like the spray queen is saying one or two sprays. Go figure. At number 11, we have this one. And this is Roses and Chocolate. Now, personally, I really enjoy this fragrance. I would not recommend anybody blind buying this because this one, yeah, this is an acquired taste to me. I don't think everybody's gonna like it. The chocolate is very predominant in this fragrance and the chocolate is a very dark, bitter chocolate. Don't think you're getting a milky, smooth, creamy, milk chocolate no this is one of them posh bitter dark chocolate that's supposed to be good for you type vibe i think <laughs> with the rose so it is a lovely fragrance but as i said it's an acquired taste just like dark chocolate is because not everyone likes it. it does have a subtle fruitiness about it predominantly peach mancera seem to love peach it has a bit of vanilla in it as well but yeah, apart from that, I think you really need to like that bitter chocolate. You need to like rose. This is not overly sweet, so it's not one of them sickly sweet fragrances, but it is a unique fragrance. I mean, I've never smelled anything like it. So if you like to be outside the box and not be the same as everyone else, then you may very well like this one. So yeah, not everybody's gonna love it. I do love it. Projection, performance, sillage is just okay for me. It's not amazing, it's not beast mode. It's just okay, so I guess moderate, yeah. So coming in at number 10, we have this one, and this is Roses Greedy. Yes, Roses Greedy is my number 10. Let's give it a spray. Yeah, this is a sweet, musky, rosy scent. To me, this is very feminine. It's quite sexy. You need to like florals. You need to like rose to enjoy this. This is a pretty scent. I would call this girly. It has a bit of a freshness to it, which I like. So the rose is a bit jammy, but it does open with a little bit of freshness. It's not overly fresh. So it's not a granified rose in any way, shape or form. It's just a very pretty scent, a very pleasant scent. I would say this is quite crowd pleasing. It's inoffensive. I think it's likable. Most people will like this one. 
does have great performance. It is a compliment getter. So yeah, that is my number 10, Rose's Greedy. So in at number nine, we have some wild candy. Why did I say it like that? Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this one. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't smelt this one in a little while. And mm, yeah, this is tantalizing my nose right now. This is a gorgeous fruity floral with a decadent chocolate note. It's not the same bitter chocolate that is in Roses and Chocolate. This is a more palatable chocolate. It opens up with a nice fruity burst, a bit of a zestiness. The zestiness does dissipate as the fragrance dries down. And yeah, this is just, it's delicious. Oh gosh, smelling this one now, I need to spray it on me. Mm -mm -mm. I like this one. This has a lot of juiciness to it. There's a subtle saltiness in the dry down that mixes so well with the, the with the vanilla <laughs> in this fragrance. And you know, it's dreamy. It just smells so, so good. There's something somewhat tropical feeling about this. I think it's probably the frangipani in it. But to me, this is an all round, like all year round fragrance. I think you can rock this at any time. It leans feminine to me, but you know, wear what you want. And yeah, it's just a really agreeable fragrance. That's what I like to say, it's agreeable. Because I don't see many people disliking this. Obviously there is someone out there that dislikes it. Um, what do they call it, the Karens? Yeah, there'll be a Karen out there that dislikes it. But I think it's a very likeable scent. Personally, I think it really suits its name because the fruits do come off a bit candid in this. But yeah, as I said, it's just such a happy, uplifting, enjoyable fragrance. It has good, solid, all-round performance that we've come to expect from Mansara. So yeah, love it. That is wild candy. Right, so in at number eight, Choco Violet. I love the juice on this. Look how sort of yellowy it is. Mm, actually, it looks like we won't say, but anyway, it doesn't smell like that, guys. <laughs> oh, a gourmand lover's dream, chocolatey, powdery, hazelnutty, goodness. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gourmand, this is warm, it's very biscuity. It kind of reminds me of like a freshly baked cookie that has hazelnuts and chocolate, like, don't you just want to eat that? Like, seriously, this smells so freaking edible. This one is right up my street because I love those kind of scents, but I would not recommend blind buying this one. I would say sample it first because a lot of people can't stand this scent and I don't understand why, but there are people that do not like this. So I would suggest you try before you buy. But if you like gourmands, if you like that cookie, biscuity, baked goods type of smell with vanilla. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, give me more, as Brittany says. Love this one. Right, so we are halfway there and in at number seven is this beauty and this is called Amber Fever and this oh, is a beautiful, ambery, woody, boozy fragrance. This has caramel, this has tonka bean, this has a note of whiskey in it. I don't think I own any other perfumes that has a whiskey note in it. Normally it's got rum or brandy or liqueur or something like that in it. But this one specifically has whiskey in it and mm, it's a delightful, delightful fragrance. This is a very unisex scent. People have said that it gives them BR540 vibes. I get where they're coming from because there is an airiness about it. It's definitely not a dupe though. I would never say this is a dupe, but it comes sort of in a similar family, if that makes sense. But to me, this is just, oh, this is perfect. This has such a lovely creamy dry down. I'm here for the dry down. I love a good boozy fragrance. This has amazing performance. It lasts really well on my skin. It's a compliment getter. And yeah, what's not to love? To me, this is everything that I wanted Angel Share to be because 
if you've watched me you'll know that I decluttered my bottle of angel share I just didn't vibe with that I know a lot of people love it but I just didn't vibe with it but this one mm-hmm this is my angel share it's in that kind of warm boozy woody family and yeah this takes angel shares place in my book my number six spot is this one and this is instant crush again people have said this is another br540 dupe no i don't believe so yes it does have BR540 vibes when it opens up, but it does not last very long. It's in the same kind of vein because it has the saffron in it and a bit of woodiness and there is sweetness in it. But to me, this one is much thicker and denser and creamier than BR540. And I love this fragrance. To me, this is beast, my, sorry, my dog. One second. Right, where were we? So yeah, as I was saying, this is beast mode to me. Even though some people say they can't smell it, I don't understand it. Because when I put this on, I can smell it all around me. I can't stop smelling myself. It's very addictive. There's something quite fluffy about this fragrance. I don't know what it is, but just the word fluffy comes to mind. I just think it is a stunning perfume and I absolutely love it. And it lasts forever on me. It's a compliment getter. I enjoy smelling it on myself. I wear it to bed. I wear it whenever I fancy smelling like it, which could be anytime, any place, anywhere, quite frankly. But yeah, that is instant crush. And that is my number six, Mansara. Ooh, guys, we're getting down there. The number five Mansara that I have chosen is this one. And it is Velvet Vanilla. And this is the very first ever Mansara fragrance that I purchased because I saw it all over YouTube and I thought I've got to get me some of that. Now, <laughs> if you like a sweet perfume, and when I say sweet, I mean tooth achingly sweet, okay? Really sweet, the kind of sweetness that puts your teeth on edge, that just gives you cavities just from one spray oh lord this yeah this is this is it this is such a sweet bubblegummy tuberose there is some black currant in it i think some other fruits but you can't really distinguish the separate fruits in it you're just getting like overpoweringly sweetness with that really strong tuberose and obviously there is a smooth vanilla in the background although to me this is not a predominantly vanilla fragrance in the traditional sense of vanillas if that makes any sense a word of warning about this one you cannot overspray if you overspray this one or as gabby the fragrantician says if you andrecise if you andrecise with this do so at your peril because this could become very cloying very quickly if you overspray it, which I learned at my own peril when one night I decided to spray this all over my sheets and like I sprayed it, sprayed it, sprayed it and all night I could not sleep because the smell was under my nose. It was giving me a headache. It was super, super cloying. It was just too much and I learned the hard way because I got no sleep that night whatsoever. You know, and if I'm not going to sleep on a night, it has to be for a better reason than perfume being up my nose, if that makes sense. But yeah, moving on swiftly. <laughs> this is a compliment getter. This has beast mode performance all round. It lasts absolutely forever. Don't get me started if you put it in your hair or on your clothes. You ain't getting rid of that smell for a very long time. So go carefully with this baby, okay? She smells good, but she's deadly. You know, one of them ones. So in the number four spot is my beloved Holidays. Oh, wow. What can I say? I love me some Holidays and I quite like this perfume too. Boom. Sorry, I'm going to stop. Stop me now when I start telling jokes. I know I'm not funny, sorry. But yeah, guys, this is coconut, creamy, vanilla-y, gorgeousness. Oh, this has a bit of a freshness to it. It is just 
the perfect vacation in a bottle scent. It has a juiciness about it. As I said, it's that creamy coconut vibe with that bergamot that gives it a bit of freshness. I just adore this fragrance. This transports me to another place. Like it just conjures up those images of like being in sunny climes, like sitting on a beach, with like a rum punch in one hand, a good book in the other and just lime in and just like enjoying life. This is what this makes me feel like and it's a happy scent. You know, one of the fragrances that you spray on it, it just makes you smile. I love that about this. This lasts really well. It's creamy, it's delicious, it projects. I adore it and yeah, my perfect vacation scent holiday. Woo, we are down to the top three, guys. Can you guess what my top three are? Well, in the number three spot is this one, and this is Musky Garden. How musky is your garden? No, don't answer that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm on one today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't had a drink, believe it or not, I haven't. Anyway, let's spray this. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, I love some musky garden. This smells so good. I haven't had this one for very long, but this one has quickly catapulted itself into my top three. Like, oh, how I love your black bottle. Oh, how I love your feminine smell. You just do something to me, musky garden. I can't explain it. So what does she smell like? Well, she's musky, obviously fruity, particularly peachy. Yeah, definitely get a lot of peach. I love how Mansara use peach. I must like the note of peach because a lot of the Manseras that I like do have peach in them. Yeah, this is juicy. Although this doesn't list having any oud in it, I detect, it, in my nose anyway, I detect a bit of oud, but it's very, very subtle and it just works so well with this perfume. It's rosy, it's sweet, it's musky. This is just so, so pretty. It's sophisticated, it's sensual, it smells classy. It's ultra, ultra feminine in my opinion. And yeah, I've just been wearing this one non-stop lately. I absolutely love it. To me, I would wear this all year round. I don't care. It's not seasonal specific to me. I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is one that you can wear anytime, any place, anywhere. It's a versatile fragrance. And yeah, it's, it's just pretty. I love it. So that is Musky Garden. Right, top two, top two. Now, guys, you must have guessed what my number two, probably my number one and two are. You might not know what order they're in, but you probably know because I've not said anything about them yet. And I talked about this particular one that's in my number two spot lots of times here on my channel. And yes, it is my baby, Rose's Vanille. Did you guess right? Guys, look at the dent in that, like seriously. And also I've noticed the liquid or the juice has got darker. And to me, that just means it's gone richer and it's gone more potent. And oh, the deliciousness is just becoming more and more to me. Like this, mm, this is a to die for fragrance. I don't know what's in this. I don't know what magic potion they put in this, but this smells freaking divine. Mm -mm -mm. Like literally, this just does things to me. Mm. It's a sweet rose that smells cakey and edible. I don't know how they did it, but as I said, this is absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite fragrances. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. Like people always wanna know what it is. It has the right amount of sweetness that just makes it delicious to everyone around you. The performance is absolutely outstanding on this fragrance. This is just sugar, sugar and more sugar. Like just give me that sugar. I want all the sugar. Yet yeah, that's what you're getting in this fragrance. Like this has some addictive quality to it. I don't know what it is, but this just draws me in every time. Like I gravitate this to this fragrance like I don't know what, like metal to a magnet. Yeah, that's what I'm like when it comes to Rose's Vanille.
this has insane performance like this is next level nuclear whatever you want to call it atomic bomb it's that strong it's just mm, everything you could wish for in a well everything i wish for in a perfume i adore it it's at my number two i'm not going to go on about it because i've chatted about it before so so much but yeah roses vanille smell it at least smell it if you haven't already so drum roll please do you know what's in the number one spot none other than my beloved coco vanille did you guess right oh guys like this is just a wow fragrance to me this was love at first sniff like i wish i had some romantic music to play to show how much i love it like je t'aime je t'aime you know that song anyway shut up Ange. yeah i adore me some coco vanille this one is just so addictive like i literally crave this perfume when i say crave like I'm talking, I could be in bed sleeping and I will jump out of my bed to spray this. Like, I just get it into my head. I need to smell Coco Vanille. It's four o'clock in the morning, I don't care. I'm getting out of my bed, I'm going to spray it and then it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Like, I cannot explain what this one does to me. Am I a bit of a weirdo? maybe but who cares but yeah this has that peach in it that same peach note it's mixed with that tiari flower the ylang ylang the coconut mm, creamy delicious vibes like and this is not just a beachy fragrance okay this to me is such a versatile perfume i would not use this just for holidays yes i would use this on holiday because it definitely does have that tropical vibe to it however it is versatile and to me i wear this all year round like i wear this to any occasion to me this is perfect for work this is brunch with the girls this is clubbing this is date night this is whatever you want it to be trip to the supermarket you know whatever takes your fancy this perfume you can't go wrong with it and i don't know anybody that would come up to you and go "Ooh, i don't like how you smell there's not like you can't not like this perfume i challenge anyone to not like this perfume but if you don't like it then okay each to their own but <laughs> i would say the majority of people would like this okay you might not all love it to the extent that i love it but I can't see anyone not liking it, you know? To me, this is so inviting. Like it has that right balance of fruitiness, creaminess, sweetness. Just, it's just all round perfect in my eyes. And it performs like a monster. This is a fantastic one to mix with other fragrances, to layer with other fragrances. I've been doing that a lot with this, even though this always is the predominant scent. Like whenever I mix this, it's beautiful, but this one always stays on the skin for longer. It's, it's just gorgeous. So that was my entire Mansara collection. Now, who knows? you know, it may not stay like that. In a few months time, I may have some more that I've added to my collection, in which case I will update you. But guys, comment down below. Tell me what your very favorite Mansara perfume is. And, you know, tell me what your worst one is as well, because I would be interested to know. I'd like some more recommendations. I've got my eye on Jardin Exclusive and Sicily as well, although I'm not really into um, citrus perfumes, but I've heard that for a citrus Sicily is top notch. If that's true, if you've tried it, let me know. And yeah, guys, I will see you again very soon in the next